Are you ready? Are you ready? <clears throat> All right. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We upload a brand new video, a brand new sneaker video, I should say. Buckets, how often? Almost every single day. Almost every stinking day. So if you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. You are in good hands. Uh, what else is there to say? The other formalities. Oh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. You want to talk about sports, you want to talk about sneakers, etc., etc. Hit me up. And if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does go a long way. It helps the YouTube algorithm, or I should say, it helps us navigate in the YouTube algorithm. Buckets, I look at the YouTube algorithm as a river. Okay. Right? So you, you gotta get, you gotta find like that current. You gotta find those rapids. The Mississippi. Yeah, and then you just, you know. You get like a nice uh, donut. Is that what you call jet stream? But what do you what do you call the thing that you go down the river in a donut? Inflatable raft. All right, all right. Kevin Bacon. I feel like there was an old Kevin Bacon movie. It's called Rivers Wild. And I called it a uh, uh, right. delete, delete, delete all that. Shit. Let's talk some sneakers. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Nike Dunk Low Medium Curry. These released in February and retail was $110. Another instant sellout, but when it comes to Nike Dunk sneakers these days, that's kinda to be expected, and by kind of, I mean very expected. Now, you have been able to catch some of the Dunks at semi-reasonable resale prices, but these are not really one of those pairs. They're in the four or $500 range already, depending on the size. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks Are For Us for tossing us this pair. You know, I heard it was a very nice sneaker, and after holding them in me paws, in me mitts, in me hands. In your hands. I feel like there was another word that I wanted there. You're supposed to be my vocab guy, and I'm realizing that like 90% of the time, you just completely leave me out to dry. I don't know why I'm like, am I fly fishing? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. You Something. got the river talk. You got the fly fishing. You got to just do the video. The Kevin Bacon. It got me all riled up. Yeah. Okay. Where was I? Remind me. You were touching the sneakers. They feel very good. They feel very, very good. It's a pair that I wanted and struck out on when they released. And so happy to have these. They have a pretty premium feel to them, which is nice. The color palette is very easy on the eyes. Earth tones, as they say. I'm a big earth tone guy, personally. Very earthy. The whole sneaker is dressed in a really nice suede. It's not super long haired, but it's also not that short, smooth, standard suede either. It's kind of an in-between. Super soft to the touch, especially on the toe box. You got all the standard dunk details as well. Swoosh on each side. Nike on the tongue. 
Nike embroidered on the heel. And the tongue almost looks a little bit aged, like kind of a vintage look. That's a dope aesthetic in my opinion. You got the sail midsole to match and that brown outsole to cap it all off. It's such a nice sneaker. It's not a collaboration. There aren't all kinds of wild, intricate details. And this just kind of proves that keeping it simple is the move sometimes, it really is. These are pretty much the exact opposite of the sneakers that we showed you yesterday. The collaboration that Carpet Company did with Nike SB, they did that Nike SB Dunk High. This is obviously a Nike Dunk Low, no SB. But the Carpet Company pair has so many details, so many subtle touches, and they're awesome, they are. But these prove that a sneaker can be awesome also when it's regular and when it's more standard. It's all in the way it's put together and brought together and brandished? Finalized. Finalized, I like it. The Dunk Low is also such a classic look in and of itself. It's hard not to like them at least a little bit. And then with this more premium rendition, I think that's what puts these over the top for me. I'd say this colorway is probably more of a fall look, but nonetheless dope. This is a sneaker I feel that can be a super staple pair in the weekly rotation. A daily wearer, if you will. A lot of ERs in there. And so in conclusion, final verdict, <sighs> deep breath. You want to go first? Sure. I'll go first. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Um, I, for me, they're right up there, man. I think these are really, really good. And they have that, I don't want to say GR because they were still really hard to get. They still didn't feel like a GR in that regard. But they have a standard regular look that feels like maybe something you would see on the shelf walking into a skate shop. And I think that that's dope. Uh, and that's not something that we get all the time in the current climate of sneakers in 2021. So buckets, what say you? I give them an eight. Eight out of 10. Okay, so you like them too. I really like them. And to go to your point, I agree with you, number one. And it's a really, really, really good plain sneaker. And also to go back to your other point, Oh, yeah. I, gas me up. Gas me up. Come I on. don't judge sneakers on the same scale. Like, this isn't a collab. If this was well, a collab, we know all about your scale, big guy. I'm just saying, if this was a collab, it would be like, wow, this is kind of lazy. Right. But it's not a collab. It's right. just a regular sneaker. Uh, that's actually a good point. You don't make many, but, th but that's a good point. That's actually a really good point. There are different versions of stuff, right? Yeah, you, you know, if, a, if this is a collab sneaker, you're like, okay, it's kind of premium. It, it's great colors, but where's... The storytelling. Exactly, exactly. And I think in a collaboration, storytelling and sneakers in general is really dope. But in a collaboration, this is just for me personally, I expect to see that person or that brand or that designer, whoever it is, I expect to see them through the sneaker. And so when you can't, it's like, how is this related to the brand? How does this tie back? How is this what? You know, I like the Easter eggs. I like it all. So. I give them a nine, you give them an eight. That is a consensus, eight and a half. Is two people, does that make a consensus? Uh, you can make an average, I don't know about a consensus. All right, there you go. Uh, let us know how you feel in the comments. You all will be the consensus. You all will be the voice of reason. How good are these? How do you feel about the Nike Dunk versus the Nike SB Dunk? How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about the high top versus the low top? However you are feeling, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. Sonny, get out of there. Come on. You can't see, but we got a little Yorkshire Terrier on the loose down here. Come on, scram, get out of there. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same place, right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else buckets. Anything from you? No. Hasta la vista. Get out of there. <laughs>